How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of our NHL 21 Be a Pro series with our skater, Everett Scott. And in the last episode, I believe we broke some more records. We've seemed to be doing a lot of that recently. And today, we're going to hopefully continue that trend once I get there. We got to do rookie and then NHL. As you can see, throughout the entirety of the NHL and all the players that have been in it, Everett Scott is number one for most goals with 77 and counting. The season's not over yet. And most points and counting. Like I said, season's not over yet. With 144 points, 77 goals. And then obviously most wins and most shutouts we cannot do because we are not a goaltender. But we are close to this one. Most assists. We are three behind Peter Stasny and Joe Janot. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Probably did not. But we are three behind those guys who are tied for first. So the goal today will either be to tie them or to get four assists in our next game and break the NHL rookie assist record. And we got a road game against the Nashville team, but we're better. So hopefully we can get four assists in this one and get us to 71 assists and break pretty much every single rookie record that we can. Uh, we've, I think we've broken all the ones on the LA Kings franchise, um, all their rookie records. Um, and I think, well, I, I should know, I just literally looked at them. But yeah, the assist record, assist rookie record, excuse me, is the last one we have to break for the NHL. And then I'm pretty sure that's pretty much wrapping it up for records that we can break at the moment. Um, which would be good because as you can see by this little calendar here, we are close to the trade deadline, which means we are close to the end of the season. And I want to kind of speed this up a little bit, but with all these records that we've been breaking, I wanted you guys to see it for yourselves, but I'm going to quit rambling and we are going to jump into this game against Nashville. Um, I'm just going to do 10 minutes. I have it set on 20, but I, I kind of want this to go by quick, but I also don't want it to go by super, super quick. Um, so yeah. And of course, you know, whenever we're on the road, I got to wear our retro alternate jerseys. Oh, those are kind of ugly, kind of trash. That'd work if they were the road team. You know, I think we'll just go with Nashville's good old home jerseys. So yeah, I think that wraps it up. I'll see you guys at the start of the game. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, along with Ray Pro. My name is James Sabalski. The Predators have had this portion of the schedule circled for a while. They're home for a bit, get some practice time in too. First game of the homestand though, James, is always important because what looks like a good thing on the schedule can go south in a hurry if you play poorly and everybody gets agitated. All right, so we got our backup Cal Pedersen in net for us tonight. He's been a stud so far this season. And they got Peter Mrazek in net for Nashville. He must have been traded from Detroit at some point. Oh, my bad. Didn't even didn't even notice that. So yeah, we're going to be playing the full game here against Nashville, looking to get those four assists. So we're going to go back to uh, being a playmaker instead of a sniper. We had to do that a few episodes back when we tried to break the, or when we broke the uh, Los Angeles Kings franchise rookie assist record. We had to turn into a playmaker there. That was, I believe, when we did the six games the six game road trip, I believe that is when we broke that record. So yeah, we're gonna go for another assist record here. Hopefully this time we have the same amount of luck and we break it. But yeah, I'm gonna apologize um, for my last video, which was uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, episode 19, I believe. Um, Cal Pedersen freezes it, nice job kinda subduing that Almost dangerous situation there, but I just wanted to apologize. I'll continue it after I simulate. All right, so we are still tied 0-0 here in the first period in our zone. But as I was saying, I do want to apologize for my previous video of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, I just, I wasn't really in it, and I was dealing with some technical difficulties, which I think I have fixed, thankfully. Um, here we go, shoot it. Nice save by Mrazek there. But, yeah, I just wanted to apologize about not really sounding very interesting, or not interesting, interested in that video last uh, last time. 
Um, I was, I wanted to make the video, but I just, like I said, I was dealing with technical difficulties and I just wasn't having a very good day that day as it was. Um, so I probably should have just skipped a day, but I'm really trying to stay consistent with this Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. Um, so I'm very sorry if you guys didn't really enjoy that video because I didn't sound very interested um, myself. So, here you go. Ah, uh, I don't think you get it, get the shot off there. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize for that video, guys. But hopefully you still did find some enjoyment in it. I know it was rather short compared to my other videos, but just wanted to apologize just in case you guys were wondering why it didn't sound so intrigued when I made that last video. All right, six minutes left to go in the first period. Still tied at zero. But yeah, hope, uh, I already said that. I'm not going to say it again, but... I got the apology out of the way, not that I necessarily needed to apologize, but I'm an apologetic guy as, who's that? Anze Kopitar, how could I forget number 11's Anze Kopitar, but Anze Kopitar gets us on the board here with his 44th of the season. It's 1-0 here in Nashville. I think it said they lost their last three games, I think, so hopefully we can hand them their fourth straight loss. All right, here we go. Over to Kopitar. Uh, tried to get him his second of the game. Mrazic passed it out to Fabro. I don't know why he didn't just hold that there. Nice little body check. Oh, I couldn't get the pass off. He picks it up, thankfully. Ah, oh, Arvidsson takes it away. Patterson passed it out for some reason. Kind of a dangerous play there. Here you go. I'm staying out on the ice. Here we go. Cross crease. Ah, oh, he was on his backhand, though. Otherwise, that might have been good. I know I'm getting penalized for a lot of long shifts here, but... All right, nice blocker. Save on the backhand. Couldn't get it. All right, I think I might have to change. Once they get out of their zone, I'll change. All right, I got to go off. That'll probably do it for the first period also. All righty, guys. So... I bumped the time up a little bit to 15 minutes. I just felt like with 10 minutes, we kind of flew through that really quickly, and I want it to uh, last a little bit longer than that. Um, if we don't get the assist record, then that's fine, but I just uh, I didn't want the game to fly by that quickly. Nice blocker saved by Mrazic again. So yeah, I don't want you guys to think that I'm changing the times in between periods just so I can get the assist record. So, there you go, Dowdy. Ah, Dowdy got block, not blocker, uh, pad saved. I'm not going to change yet. All right, now I'll go. All right, so we're down to 12 and a half left to go here. Still up one nothing. All right, let's see if we can get an assist here on this play. Oh, that was a nice play to Kopitar there, but Mrazic managed to see what we were doing there and stop that. All right, see if I can set up for a one-timer. If I can get a chance to score, I will. And, of course, Kopitar can't win the face-off in the offensive zone. Seems like he can win the face-off any other time except when it's that type of situation. All right, here we go. I don't know why you passed it up. You should have just... Well, I guess it's probably the only play he really had there. Didn't want to turn it over, so... Never mind. All right, we got a delayed penalty now. This could be a good opportunity for me to get the assist. All right, a minute seven left on our power play. Still have... Well, I guess you can obviously tell we have not scored yet. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the power play. There you go. Oh, you should have shot that immediately, but I guess you had a defender on you, so... You're good this time. All right, let's see if we can do that again. Maybe Kopitar could actually win a face-off here. There you go. Oh, I whiffed on that one-timer. Let's see what I can set up here. Mata. 
Ah, he was back skating. He couldn't get that one timer. There you go, poke check. Here we go, wrap around, down to you. That's not where I wanted the pass to go, but it still works out. Ah, oh, got intercepted. That, not where I wanted it to go. It was a little too far to the right there. I wanted it to go more to the left. Oh, rebound. Ah, there you go. If only I could have got an assist on that. Kopitar gets his second of the night, though. 45 on the season. I think that was a power play goal as well. Oh, maybe not. I don't know if that counted as a body check or not. Did the announcer just say 23 was Brandon Sod? I thought that was uh, Dustin Brown. There you go, Rister. Nice save by Mrazic. Poke check, there you go. All right, I'll get you, Kopitar. There you go. We couldn't keep the puck, though. Sorry, coach. I'm staying on this play. All right, there. We got it out of the zone. I'll go off. All right, just under seven minutes here in the second. Up to nothing still. Kopitar up to me. Over to Kopitar. There we go. His hat trick. And I get the assist. So I need two more to tie it. We still have a full period left after this. I don't know how he managed to get that, but he managed to pick it up and just tuck it behind Mrazic there. Very nice play by Kopitar. It always sucks when you get a hat trick on the road because no one wants to throw hats out on the ice. Nice save, nice save excuse me, by Pedersen, and that might take me off the ice here. No, I'm still out there. All right. Maybe we could get another goal here, and I could get another assist. There you go, up to me. I'm going to turn back around here. Dump it around the boards to Kopitar. I didn't like what we were doing there. Over to Saad. Ah, I passed it too far over. Nice save by Mrazic. Another good save by Mrazic, and that goes out of the zone. All right, four minutes left to go. Just under four minutes. Still up 3 nil. What are you talking about, Sobolski? I'm, I'm fucking dead center, dude. All right. Maybe I could get a goal here. Kopitar just drops it down to Mata at two. Of course not. He's got to lose there. To poke check it, but he poke checked in the opposite direction. Probably because Yossi had already passed it at that point. I don't know why Mata didn't try and poke check it. He had the perfect opportunity to do it. Even though if it was me, I probably would have done the same thing Mata did there. I'm terrible at poke checking. I just get lucky. See, like, I probably should have poke checked right there, but I did it earlier. I thought we still had it. I tried to drop back. I thought we were going to get offside. There you go. Up. Here you go. Over to you, 23. Ah, oh, couldn't tuck it in. I think uh, Yossi got a piece of it. But I got a hold of it still. There you go, Dowdy. We still got it. Up to you, Dowdy. Ah, oh, Mrazic finally snags it. And I got to go off. And that'll probably do it for the second. All right, so I bumped it up to the full 20 minutes for this one. I just feel like the game's flying by too quick. I always forget that 10 minutes is actually kind of quick for this game so especially when you're simming off the ice every every few seconds so all right here we go over to you Kopitar back to Kopitar nice save by Mrazic 
I tried to say pad save, but then I thought that was wrong, but I would have been right if I said that. Alright. Let's get it out of our zone here. What kind of pass was that, Kopitar? Oh, I thought I got the poke check on it. Probably just a little late. What the hell are you doing there? I don't know who that is on Nashville. Got it up to me, though. Spin around. Try and setting up. Try to set up a play here. A little tongue-tied at the moment. One-timer blocked, but Mrazek snags it out of the air. Nice play by Mrazek. Now I gotta go off. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. Cal Patterson with a nice save. We're on the power play. I did not notice that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Here comes Coach. Oh, we're up late in the game. All right, I'm just going to do a team because I'm, I'm being a playmaker this time. Being a playmaker. Oh, I suppose I should let you guys know. I don't know if I said anything in the GTA episode. Like I said, wasn't really all there when I made that one. Uh... I had my mind on other things, um, but I do not know if there will be an Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode this week. I've been trying to do it every other week, and I say by Mrazic, he'll hold it for the whistle, but I've been trying to do it every other week, but I just, I don't know if I'll have time to do it. I usually like to record for about two hours with that game, so I don't really know if I'll have enough time this week or this upcoming weekend to do that so you might get either two NHL videos or two GTA videos this week um, otherwise I have been wanting to do a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption so maybe I'll start that instead it just depends but if you guys uh, would rather me do uh, Red Dead Redemption this week instead of Assassin's Creed or another NHL or GTA video let me know in the comments I'd be glad to do whatever one. Oh, I guess we're offside. I was like, why did he just let that go? But, yeah, so just let me know what you guys are thinking, what you guys want me to do. I will always listen to what you guys tell me, unless it's something stupid. All right. Will you guys want to move or just stand around? I'm trying to get some plays going here. Probably should have quit, quit moving around there. How is it not a penalty? He literally threw it out into the bench. All right, so we couldn't get anything on that previous power play. But let's see if we can get a play set up here. Here we go. Up to me. Thank you. Oh, I got poke checked. Otherwise, that was a goal. Nice slapper. Ah. Oh, he couldn't get back to his forehand. There you go. Big hit. I'm surprised they didn't want to fight. Nice save by Mrazek. Poke check. I say backhand. Ah, oh, couldn't get the rebound. There you go. Slapper. Nice blocker save. There we go. There's my second assist on the night. And Kopitar gets his fourth. Kopitar's just going off on the Nashville Predators. His fourth goal of the night. He's going to get every fucking goal this game. Just another one where he just managed to snag it. Somehow the defenseman didn't pick that off there. What was that, Johansson, 57? I think so. Could be wrong. But we're up 4 nothing now. I almost said 4 nil, But it still means the same thing. But we're up 4 nothing. We're just dominating what is supposed to be Smashville. Not living up to that uh, moniker this game. Cal Pedersen's just being a stud in net. Oh, don't know if that was a penalty or not. Over to you. Ah, 43, couldn't get a shot off there. Nice backhand, there you go, 5 nothing, And someone other than Kopitar, Jeff Carter scores the goal, making it 5 nothing. Unfortunately, I could not get the assist to tie it. I just need to get one more to tie, two more to break it. And that'll do it for Mrazic. Who do they have as a backup? Ingram? 
All right, so it said Philip Deneau and Drew Doughty both got penalties. So we are four on four as we get another one, making it six nothing. And who is that? Walker? I don't know his first name. Sean Walker, his fifth of the season. Very nice, buddy. So Anze Kopitar not going not gonna to be scoring every single goal here tonight, but he scored four out of our six. So I'd say we definitely have this win in the bag as I get a nice block on that pass. Here we go. See if I can get something going here. Over to you three. Oh, off the post. How more unlucky can you get? But Kopitar gets another chance to get his fifth of the game. Rebound. Kopitar just trying to get everything done himself. There we go. Nice save. Mur uh, not Mrazic. Ingram. I've been throwing some shots on the net. I'm just not getting anything in this one. Oh, I probably should have stayed behind the net to get it. Here we go. Hit him against the boards. We keep it in. There you go, buddy. One-timer. There we go. Anze Kopitar getting his fucking fifth of the night. Jesus Christ. I didn't even notice that was Anze Kopitar. He's going to get two fucking hat-tricks in this game if he doesn't fucking slow down a little. I just fucking pass it to the dude on the fucking right side of the net. He just fucking slaps it home. And I tie... The assist record, the NHL rookie assist record. I cannot forget that. The announcers aren't saying anything, but we tie the record, so don't forget that. We do still have time, though, to break it by getting one more assist. So we're going to try and go for it. We still have under 10 minutes left. Now that I'm realizing that I bumped up the time to 20 minutes, I don't really think that's all too fair, but it's okay. It's a game. We were going to break it anyway, so I'd rather just get it done in the video so you guys can actually see it. So I don't have to like put in a like quiet clip or whatever at the end of the video. I'd rather just get it done now while I'm recording so you guys can see it. So They're all swarming me. You can't get me off the puck. There you go, Kopitar. Oh, he just runs into 92 there. Oh, 92 is Johansson. Oh, 57 is Robbie Fabro. My bad. I do some. I do know some of uh, Nashville's players. I just I'm not uh, very knowledgeable with pretty much any other team except uh, Chicago, and I guess LA because they really haven't changed much of their uh, roster since I first got into the NHL back in. Uh, 14 to 15, so 14 to 15 season that is, just in case you were confused at what I meant. Oh, they're talking about me. Up to me, 23. Kopitar. Ah, oh, Fabro picked it off. Kopitar was going to get his second hat trick of the night. All right, so we're still up 7 0 here with seven minutes left to go in the third period. We have tied the NHL rookie assist record, but we need we need one more to break it. We have not got a goal yet, but this could be a good opportunity to get one off the faceoff. Oh, didn't pass it to me. I'm with you, Kopitar. Here we go. Down to you, 24. Oh, Kopitar. Pass was blocked. I'm going to shoot it. Easy save for Ingram there, but I just wanted to shoot it on net because you never know what will happen. You always got to shoot it. You always just got to shoot it on net. You never know what will happen. Alright, so Nashville wins that face off there. There you go. Sit down, dude. But he still gets a damn puck. Come on, defense. Oh, stay on side. Okay, thank you. Brown. Ah, blocked in front. Got a good opportunity there. Just every everyone was in front of me, so... Alright, I don't know who 24 is, but I'm staying until we get the puck out of our zone. Alright, there we go. I'll go off now. 
Oh, we're going to the power play. Oh, it's four on four now. And I think I got uh, Fabro's name wrong. I think it's Dustin Fabro. It said it was D Fabro on the simulation screen. I swear there was, is Robbie Fabro on the Blues? I think so. I think Robbie Fabro is a uh, St. Louis Blues defenseman. I know there's a Robbie Fabro, unless I'm just making that up. There you go, 26. Ah, oh, gets blocked in front. All right, come on, guys. We're not going to let a four-on-four four slow us down. There we go. I still got it, buddy. All right, let's see what we can set up here. Over to you. Oh. Keep off it there, buddy. Ah. Nice attempt there, but I got to go off. All right, so we're under two minutes now. I don't know if I'll get that extra assist, but knowing this game, they'll still count it as me breaking that record, so. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just under two minutes and Nashville gets on the board and Cal Pedersen isn't gonna get another shutout. I think he has like six of them, five or six shutouts on the season. He's a terrific backup goaltender. But let's see if we can get an assist, get another goal, get an assist basically just negate them ever scoring a goal. Oh. There you go. Ah, I should have angled it better. All right, so we're going on the power play. Hopefully coach keeps me on. All right, so we got a little bit of power play time here at the end of the game. See if I can get an assist. There you go. Shoot it. Get a rebound. Ah, oh, Kopitar couldn't tuck it in on the backhand. That would have been golden. That would have given it to me. We still got time, though. I think I'll be out on the ice for the rest of the game. So I have 32 seconds. Ah. Come on. You got to give it to me, game. I'm this close. Nice save by Pedersen. Up to you, 21. I think that's Saad. Over to Kopitar. Kopitar can't tuck it in. I don't think I'm going to get it. No, I will not, but I tie it. But I'm pretty sure once I go to the main menu, the game will count it as being broken. So I will count that. But... We get the win. Cal Pedersen, unfortunately, couldn't get the shutout. Unfortunately, just under two minutes, Nashville managed to finally get a goal. But what can you do? So, but yeah, I'll see you guys at the main menu and see if we actually broke the record. Well, congratulations to our sensational rookie who delivers yet again and now becomes the NHL's single-season rookie assist leader as he topples another mark in what has been a remarkable career uh, to pick up that many assists this season, to be able to do that. We've seen some iconic playmakers burst into the league, and the fact is he's toppled all of them. Congratulations to the sensational freshman who's got such a bright future ahead. Uh, I want to get to the phones here. A lot of people want to jump in on this. game on the road where you and a friend could be all right so i don't know if you guys heard that and i'm a i apologize for the fucking train in the background so if you guys hear that i'm very sorry but we did officially break the nhl rookie all-time assist record even though we technically only tied it but the game will count it as us beating it <clears throat> so i'll count it but now we're talking to drew dowdy seems like we can only ever talk to drew dowdy um but he says Nashville is known for its incredible food. No way you're joining us, right? No way you're not joining us, right, Everett? Uh, of course I'm going. As much as I enjoy the food from our meal plan, I could use a break from it. The type of food here has never agreed with me. I think I'll stick to room service. There are not many light food options. I'd rather not be slowed down for the next game. I'll, I'll join the team, of course. I love food. Great, Everett. Do you think you could pick up the tab for dinner? Uh, I'm not opposed, but I'm not the team bank either. How about everyone pays for themselves this time? Uh, I can do that. The team has been working so hard. They all deserve a reward for that. This meal's on me. Um, you know what? I'll say this. 
and it didn't work. Can't get off the hook that easily, Everett. I'm sure someone else can pick it up next time, but this time is all you. Uh, there should be a few breadsticks left over. I apologize for that background noise. My cat just jumped on the freaking table. Freaking weirdo. But, what can you do? She likes to sit there, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna oppose. But we got a conversation with a reporter now. Tonight was your night, Everett. Awesome job setting a new NHL rookie assist scoring record. Uh, well, I wasn't planning on losing the game. It's always a good feeling I can share with my teammates. None of the, none of this would be possible without them. Sounds good. Hope you get. It. Is this bitch dumb? She literally said, "Awesome job setting a new NHL rookie assist scoring record," and I'm like, "Yeah, I couldn't. I I enjoy celebrating this achievement with my teammates. It wouldn't be possible without them." And she's like, "All right. Well, I hope you get it next time. Thanks." What an idiot. I hate this reporter. Get her out of the locker room, guys. Jesus. She always says stupid stuff. And then she gets bitchy at me when I don't break fucking NHL records. It's like, lady, I've broken like every NHL rookie record I can. So chillax, okay? Jesus. But anyway, we're going to sim up to the next game, see if we have any more cutscenes. What does James right, have to say? Time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the oh, I don't care. All right, see how many more fucking times he'll interrupt me. All right, so I think now, since I don't have any records I have to worry about breaking anymore as far as I know, I think when we come back, I think we'll probably be uh, playing this final game against Vegas. Um, I think the next episode, that's what you can expect. This last home game against Vegas. Um... And I will also, if I remember, or if anything of note happens, I'll let you know if we uh, send any key players out in the trade deadline. Um, or if we bring in someone from the trade deadline. But I'll let you guys know. But actually, you know what? I think we could uh, look at the standings quick. Um, let's see here. So we're almost at 100 points on the season. That's terrific. All right, so first place, LA Kings. Second place, Chicago. That's kind of unrealistic considering how they are actually playing in real life. Um, but I'm, I'm not opposed to seeing that. San Jose is in third. Oh, no. Florida fucking dropped, dude. They were, they were in second, and then Chicago is in third, but they've dropped. But I, they're still in playoff contention, though. So there goes my cat. Sorry for that, but... So we are first, followed by Chicago, and the last team in the league is Buffalo. So yeah, pretty normal. I'm surprised it's not Ottawa or Detroit, but, but yeah, so that's pretty good. And I'm not even going to bother looking at these because we already know I'm going to win the Calder, and I lead the team in pretty much everything. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Like I said, in the next episode, you could probably expect to see the final game of the regular season against Vegas. So, otherwise we can just jump straight into the playoffs because we're at 97 points. We're obviously going to be in the playoffs. So, just let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather see the last game of the season and then do the playoffs on their own episodes, I can do that. Either way, they'd be on their own episodes. I don't know why I said it like that. But, what I meant to say is, next episode, do you want it to be Vegas or just skip it and go straight into the playoffs? I already said that earlier, but whatever. Never hurts to reiterate myself, I guess. But that'll do it for this one. So if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. Give me some feedback. Always love to hear from you guys. Also, make sure to share this video with your friends or anyone you think who might enjoy my content. If you do any of those things, I would really appreciate it. But until next time, guys, take care.